Hi librarians, my name is Thani Nandini Islam and I'm the author of Bright Lines. Thank you so much for checking out my debut novel. I want to talk to you a little bit about some of my inspirations, uh, my workspace, and you know the process of writing the book. I like to write at home, which is my work studio in Brooklyn, and I have a very colorful and eclectic a way of decorating my home, which adds to the inspiration of, you know, traversing different cultures um, and exploring the vibrant world that we live in. So you'll see in the background, I have a lot of little things to kind of um, pay homage to the places that I've traveled. You have the Virgin uh, de Guadalupe candles next to a Shiva statue, next to an artisanal painting from Oaxaca, Mexico. And these are all, you know, subtly making their way into the work. On my writing desk, I keep a little uh, beautiful wooden box of dried wildflowers. And, you know, these flowers are actually Geraldine wax, which dries beautifully. And uh, I love wax flowers because they're so emblematic of something that is small but you know, perseveres uh, for pretty much an infinite amount of time, um, so it would seem, because I've had these flowers for about two years and they're perfectly intact. This is a photograph of me standing in front of the real life 111 Cambridge Place, which is now an abandoned brownstone, uh, which is a very eerie thing to come across 10 years after starting the book. Um, but it kind of feels really appropriate. It's almost like my characters have evacuated and what's left is this like mythic relic of the time that they were living there. And, you know, another important place in Bright Lines is the strip of, you know, shops for uh, Muslim paraphernalia, essential oils, incense um, that are, you know, all very vibrant on Atlantic Avenue. So one of my favorite little writing rituals um, is kind of a writing prompt game to get my juices flowing before I sit down to actually work on you know whatever chapter I'm working on. So I do a little divination game with uh, the Book of Symbols published by Tashin which is kind of like this epic um, book of pretty much everything that <laughs> constitutes a symbol for humanity. So I'll just kind of do a little flip through almost like spinning a globe and picking a country where you're going to end up and whatever I land on so for instance I have glass um, and it'll just be something that I'll read almost like a little meditation glass is translucence transparency refraction a pair of spectacles that bring into focus words on a page and it's you know immediately uh, connecting to you know different things that I'm working on so in the case of bright lines say I got glass it would be Wow, Ella, the character um, who we find coming of age, grappling with her sexuality and her place in this family that she's been adopted into, her glasses are a huge part of her identity. They're like Coke bottle thick um, and it's something that, you know, when she takes them on or off, it really affects the way she sees the world um, and affects the hallucinations that she has. So I like to play uh, little games with myself to keep the process playful, fluid, and fun for me. Um, because writing is something that I like to keep sacred. And it's a place where, you know, my inner artist, inner child can kind of just explore the terrain of my imagination. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I look forward to answering your questions about Bright Lines.